This is the morning office for February 23rd. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love. According to your judgment, give us life. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and one mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The portion of the Psalter appointed for today is Psalm 130. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? For there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits for him, and his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord, more than watchman for the morning, more than watchman for the morning. O Israel, wait for the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. If the wicked turn away from all their sins that they have committed, and keep all my statutes, and do what is lawful and right, they shall surely live. They shall not die. None of the transgressions that they have committed shall be remembered against them. For the righteousness that they have done, they shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked, says the Lord, and not rather that they should turn from their ways and live? But when the righteous turn away from their righteousness and commit iniquity, and do the same abominable things that the wicked do, shall they live? None of the righteous deeds that they have done shall be remembered. For the treachery of which they are guilty, and the sin they have committed, they shall die. Yet you say, the way of the Lord is unfair. Hear now, O house of Israel, is my way unfair? Is it not your ways that are unfair? When the righteous turn away from their righteousness and commit iniquity, they shall die for it. For the iniquity that they have committed, they shall die. Again, when the wicked turn away from the wickedness they have committed and do what is lawful and right, they shall save their life. Because they considered and turned away from all their transgressions that they had committed, they shall surely live, they shall not die. The Word of the Lord. Jesus, Savior of the world, come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your cross and your life laid down, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our Savior and mighty Deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. Come now and dwell with us, Lord Christ Jesus. Hear our prayer and be with us always. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Today, in thinking about silence, I turn again to Romano Guardini, who says that to be silent is to learn to be truly human. He says, true silence and true speech are the means by which the image of God is revealed in us. All of this implies that if we are not capable of being silent, if we're not capable of true silence, which itself is worth thinking about what he might mean by that, and true speech, equally complicated concept, there is perhaps some portion of our humanity that is impaired. My question for the day is, what portion of our humanity do you think is impaired if we are incapable of silence? What part of the image of God in us is not able to be seen even by us if we are incapable of silence? 
We often think that we have everything we need. We are complete in ourselves. Perhaps this is the right season to wonder whether there are some things that are present but are hidden from us or are marred by our own behavior and whether perhaps by finding new habits and new ways of encountering God, those things might be more fully revealed. I ask your prayers as always for the day, the world, and for the church. Pray for our neighbors who have no faith, those who feel that they need none, those who have lost their faith, those who have never had any, uh, who desire it whether they realize it or not, those who have become embittered by their experiences of faith in the past. Pray that in some way God will speak to all of them in a way that they can hear and in a way that will heal them. Pray for the same for the world, for all those places where the word of God has never been heard or where it is no longer heard. Pray that some aspect of the, the peace and the joy of God may be made known in those parts of the world and pray that in some way the church may play its part in doing that. Lord Christ, our eternal Redeemer, grant us such fellowship in your sufferings that filled with your Holy Spirit we may subdue the flesh to the Spirit and the Spirit to you and at the last attain to the glory of your resurrection who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.